Hello and welcome everyone. Good morning. Uh, as you can see from my messy hair, it's really windy here. But I've already set up uh, my practice outside, so I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna stick with it. And uh, I hope you're ready for your practice uh, today. So it's gonna be uh, gentle hatha and it's feel good hatha. So the poses that we're gonna do, I hope that it will just lift you up, cheer you up and make you feel happier, make you feel good that you have uh, made the effort to make some time to turn up on your mat and uh, give yourself a bit of me time to practice. Okay, I can hear something has gone wrong behind me. So. Let me just uh, rearrange this while waiting for more people to join in. Right, I hope that will stay put for now. Well, that's the challenge of doing a live class. Everything is captured in the video. <clears throat> but as long as my hair stay put, the wig doesn't get blown away by the wind, I think we are good. Right, morning Susan, morning John. Um, just uh, half a minute or so and, 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 uh, and wait for more people to join in. I hope you're all well. Well, um, we're going to do triangle pose, some of the poses that we're going to do, triangle pose, reverse warrior and uh, before relaxation we're going to do bridge. So make sure you have your props ready. I know there's so many bricks you can see in the screen. <laughs> Those are bricks just to keep the mats down. I have three mats. Uh, so what you need for your practice, there will be your yoga brick, a strap, and a block okay if you don't have them it's okay you use your books you use your pillows your cushions get creative just grab anything you have in the house to support your practice morning Angela right I need to get my body moving so that it will just warm me up a little bit the more I talk the more I stand here I think I'm just gonna uh, feel colder all right, so I'll see you on the mat and we'll start our practice. Right. Welcome everyone. Welcome to today's practice, gentle hatha, feel good hatha. Right, come to a seated butterfly, soles of your feet together and knees open, knees out to the side, sit up nice and tall, you relax your arms, relax your shoulders and flip your palms up, take a moment here and for the next few minutes we're just going to focus on the breath to center ourselves, to tune in before we start with some gentle body stretch. Right, close your eyes, breathe and relax, then bring your attention to your breath, start to draw a deeper breath into your belly, into your chest. As you invite the inhales down a little bit deeper and press to exhale out a little bit longer. Few more rounds making space as you pause between the breaths. Just nice and easily 
Allow the breath to come back to its natural rhythm and death. Gently blinking your eyes open. Right, bring your knees together. Relax your legs and hug your knees into your chest. Chin to chest. Relax your back. Breathe and hold here. And then inhale. Either way, sit up nice and tall and don't forget, prop yourself up, sit on a yoga block, sit on a folded blanket or a cushion to sit up nice and tall. Right, inhale, open your heart, open your arms wide. Let's do some gentle body stretch. Arms facing up towards the sky, interlacing the fingers, arms straight or little bend in the elbows. Pressing into your sit bones and lengthen. And then finding stillness as you breathe and hold. Softening the gaze, looking forward or up towards the sky. Relax your neck and slowly relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Now, bring your right hand down to the mat next to your hip. Spread your fingers. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Step with a gentle stretch. Left arm up, softening the gaze, looking straight ahead. Your next exhale, gently pressing the left knee down, reach your left arm to the right side, bring the arm closer to your ear, spin the chest open, roll the left shoulder back and down, and then hold here. If it starts to get a bit too much for you, come back to the first variation. Keep looking forward. And then slowly bring your body back to center and relax. When you're ready, pressing into your left hand, you spread your fingers, little bend in the elbow. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Keep looking forward. Take it easy with the neck. Feel that nice stretch along the right side of your body. Stay here or go deeper. Now make sure you're not rounding your back, not collapsing the chest, you're not looking down. Your heart facing straight ahead, open up the chest and your right arm reaching out to the side, the opposite side. And then slowly bring yourself back to center.
right, inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders back and down. Two more. Roll the shoulders back and down. Three more. This time, the opposite direction. shoulders and keep breathing and then exhale release you clench your fingers rotate your wrists under or pointing the toes back, neutral spine, neck long, right, three rounds of cat cow, lifting your tailbone, lift your heart, shoulders back and down, arching the back and look forward, and then slowly exhale, lifting your spine up towards the sky, you bring your chin to your chest, Rounding the back, deep breathing, two more, inhale, arch and come to cow, opening the heart, breathe, exhale, cat, and one more set. Come back to center, relax your spine. Now, if you have your toes pointing back, tuck your toes under. Start to activate the core, draw the belly in, engage your back, gently pressing into your hands. Make sure your hands are flat. Inhale, you lift your knees off the mat, an inch or two above the floor. Keep the neck long. The crown reaching forward. Don't just let your head hang. Neck long, back flat, and knees lifted. Exhale, release, and reset. One more. Inhale, lift, and hold. And then exhale, bring the knees down, and relax your back. Right, one more, lift, keep the back strong, keep the core strong, and then lifting your hips higher, up and back, come to downward dog, keep the knees bent, gently pressing into your hands, bringing your chest closer to your thighs. Allow your head to hang heavy between your arms and distribute your weight evenly across your hands. Breathe easy here. And then start to walk the dog out. You straighten one leg. And the other knee is bent. And then you keep moving. And you move with your breath. If you need to bring the knees down, come back to all fours, please feel free to do so. What we're doing here, we're just opening up the hamstrings and calves. At the same time, making more space in the shoulders, in the neck, and breathe. Come 
come back to center and then inhale you draw your thighs up and as you exhale release the heels down for the next two breaths finding stillness in your downward dog with your legs straight or little bend in the knees whether your heels touch the mat or not that's not the goal making spaces softening the knees and walk your feet to the top of the mat right have your feet about hip width apart you bend your knees and then slowly come to red doll knees bent and your arms you grab your opposite arms opposite elbows and let the upper body hang softening the knees relax your neck relax your head breathe and hold here or option to ground your feet and sway from side to side like a pendulum make sure you're not holding any tension in the neck let go exhale and release softening the shoulders exhale let go of any tension right slowly come back to center now you're gonna bring your arms behind your back grab your opposite elbows or arms one more variation here in ragdoll and bring your chest closer to your thighs and the crown reaching down towards the earth your arms and shoulders arms by the side pressing into your feet inhale slowly come up to standing and relax right three rounds of side salutation all right mountain pose or you stand at the top of your mat feet hip width apart spread your toes nice and wide legs engaged uh, me. Legs engage, draw your thighs up and back, lift your kneecaps, standing tall. And relax the upper body. Now bring your palms to your heart center, grounding and feeling solid. Together, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, open your arms wide, swan dive. Hands to the shins, pull the chest out, half lift. Exhale, bend your knees and fold, chest to your thighs and the crown reaching down towards the earth. Arms by the side, or bring your hands to the back of your legs. Exhale, release, hands to the mat next to your feet. Step your legs back, plank with your legs straight or bring the knees down, half plank. Those in plank, reach the heels back and firm your thighs and get your legs. Everyone, keeping the neck long, the crown reaching forward and make sure the shoulders are above the wrist. You release your plank, your half plank, body down, or bring the knees down first and then release the upper body. Toes pointing back, hands underneath the shoulders for cobra, or elbows down, come down to your forearms, inhale and bend back. Opening your heart, softening the shoulders, and soften your gaze as you look forward. Exhale, chest down, relax your back, tuck your toes under. Those in sphinx, bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Everyone inhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back.
take a moment here if you think it'd be useful for you you have your props two bricks or two books place them underneath your hands to bring the floor to you take away any strain in the wrists and the shoulders use your props and then you find your place with your knees bent, legs straight, or feel free to walk the dog out. Softening the knees, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Knees bent and fold. Engage your back, hands to the shins or the knees. This time your chest away from your thighs. The crown reaching forward and roll. Roll your shoulders back and down, softening the shoulders. Pressing into your feet, knees soft. Open your heart, open your arms wide. Palms together and down to your heart center. Second round, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. This time, option to straighten your legs or stay here with your knees bent. Keep the spine long and hold. Release, hands to the mat. Legs back when you're ready, plank or half plank. Those in plank, find that diagonal from the heels all the way to the top of your head keep the neck long don't just drop your head the crown reaching forward all right you release or if you wanna join me for three-legged plank right leg up hug the elbows in and put it up inhale sphinx of cobra you bend back to your own degree and on an exhale relax your back bring your chest down position your hands and then inhale tuck your toes under and let's meet in downward facing dog now you smooth the breath out take a moment and breathe as you hold your downward facing dog softening the shoulders Soften your gaze. Make a nice sharp V with your tailbone, lifting up towards the sky. Come back to your breath. Bend your knees. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. And then you fold with your knees bent or legs straight. Hands to the shins, half lift. Inhale, back to mountain, root to rise, arms together, down to your heart center. Last round, one breath, one movement. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Hands to the mat. Step your legs back, plank or half plank. Those Three leg up plank, lift your left leg up and then release. Inhale, Sphinx or Cobra. Exhale, relax your back. Inhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Breathe deeply and smoothly. As you create length, strength and space in your entire body. Softening the knees, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Fold, half lift, arms out, chest up, mountain pose, palms together, and down to your heart center. Inhale. And exhale, release and relax. Right. Now, let's take a breather here. I need to put this 
back on as you can see my hair is everywhere and the wind is just start to pick up right so the first pose that we're gonna do we're gonna do two standing poses we're gonna start with triangle pose followed by reverse warrior okay so come to standing with your feet about three and a half four feet wide now bring your hands to your hips let's start with the right side now you point your right foot towards the top of the mat keep that right leg straight now your left foot turn it out slightly pointing out to 45 or pointing straight ahead now make sure the heels are aligned or the right heel is aligned with the arch of your left foot keep the hips open your heart and your hips facing straight ahead and then inhale you reach your right arm out to the side slowly start to deepen the stretch slide your left hips to the side and your right arm away lower your right hand now as you lower make sure you're not rounding the upper back oh the sun is out that's nice roll that left shoulder back open the heart and stack the shoulders now you have your prop i'm going to grab my prop you can place it on the inside of that front foot okay so you can stay here with your right hand slide lower or keep that hand high heart open or you can use your prop bring the floor to you so far so good next inhale you reach your left arm up towards the sky now it's not about how low you place your right hand it's about making space opening the heart and also feeling comfortable as you hold your triangle pose softening the gaze looking straight ahead or up towards the sky now you spread your left fingers breathe and hold here feeling that nice stretch along the left side of your body legs are strong the back is strong and one more breath here now those looking up look straight ahead little bend in that right knee you engage your back bring your body up and center hands back to your hips this time you're gonna bend that right knee much deeper so your right knee is stacked over the ankle okay you need to roll out the inner thigh the knee is stacked and the hips are open you're gonna slide your left hand along your left leg see how far you can go this time you're stretching the other side feel that nice stretch along the right side of your body once again it's not how low you place your left hand it's also about making space in the shoulders and opening the heart and then slowly you reach your right arm up towards the sky opening your heart see if you can sink your hips a little bit deeper come to reverse warrior one more option is to bring your right arm overhead and hold here you relax your neck and bring your body back to center right that's a nice stretch there hands back to your hips slowly have both your 
feet pointing straight ahead, softening the knees and bring your feet closer and together. Right, let's reset. Let's take a breather here before we do the left side. So don't forget your prop. While you set up, let me just uh, blow my nose. Right, when you're ready. If, when you're ready, once again, have your feet about three and a half, four feet wide. You stamp your left foot. Okay, so the left foot pointing towards the width of your mat. Keep that leg straight or you can keep that knee soft for now. Your right foot pointing straight ahead or turning out slightly, pointing out to about 45. The heels are aligned. Okay, or you can align your left heel with the arch of your right foot. Keep the hips open. Hands to your hips. Left arm, left arm reaching out to the side, sliding the right hip. The right, left arm out, lower, and now you work with your body on this side. You can go deeper, go ahead. If you need to back off, you honor your body, listen to your body, not your mind, not your ego. And then with the heart open, show the start. You have your brick. to you. This is your best friend during your practice. Okay, and then right arm up. Zip the straight ahead. Soften the gaze and smile. Or option to look up. You relax your neck, look straight ahead, bend that left knee a little, engage your back, body up, hands to your hips. Bend that left knee even more. Now, please make sure that that left knee doesn't go past the ankle. It needs to be stacked, okay, directly above it. And then, the right leg stay as it is. See if you can sink a little bit deeper. Your right hand slide down along that right leg. When you're ready, heart open, shoulder soft. Left arm reaching up, stay here. Or deeper. Keep breathing. slowly you engage your back bring your body back to center hands to your hips and then slowly left foot pointing straight ahead both feet pointing forward and softening the knees bring your feet closer and together right all right how's that for you so we've done triangle and we've done reverse warrior both sides okay so how do you feel the side of your body feeling that nice stretch there okay reset breathe now we're gonna work on our balance dancers pose if you think that a strap or a towel will be useful for you you grab it now let's start in mountain feet in width apart start with the right leg so you engage your left foot spread your toes nice and wide grounding through your left foot softening the knee all right don't lock the knee softening the knee and then standing tall you shift your weight to your left leg left side bend your right knee you grab your right ankle or your right foot or using a strap loop it around 
your right foot or ankle. Inhale, left arm reaching up. Stay here. Or exhale. Go deeper, lowering your heart. Your left arm pointing, reaching out to about 45 degrees. Keep your back foot low or lift your right foot higher. Feel that nice stretch in the right shoulder, right thigh. The standing leg is strong and breathe. back to your breath, body center, and slowly right leg down, left arm down, and relax your whole body. Right, reset, let's do the other side. Once again, start in mountain. Okay, you engage your right leg, you spread your toes, pressing into that right foot. Slowly shift your weight to the right side, right leg. You bend your left knee. Look the strap around your ankle or the top of your left foot. Or if you're not using a strap, you use your hand. Inhale, right arm up. Now no rush. If you want to get close to a walk to a wall, okay, you face your wall. You can press your right hand into the wall and then you can lift your back leg a little bit higher so your balance is supported. You have the wall to support you. You can go deeper into opening the hips, feeling deeper into the stretch. If you want to challenge your balance, then you stay where you are and see how far you can go. back to your breath, gently release and take a moment here. Right, now we're going to come to child's pose, we're going to rest and then we're going to work on sphinx twist and a variation of locust. So you get comfortable, knees and feet together, or big toes touching, knees match width apart. Rest your head on the mat. Or you have your prop, your pillow, your cushion, your yoga block, and rest. Come back to your breath, move your prop to the side, slowly you slide your chest, your shoulders forward, extend your legs back, come to Sphinx, now Sphinx, elbows and the shoulders aligned, forearms down, so your forearms about shoulder width apart, and parallel okay so your legs about hip width apart with your toes pointing back so here you are bending back gently keep the heart open right 
slowly inhale, you lift your heart. And then exhale, you look to your right side for a gentle twist. Breathe and hold here. Or if you're okay to go deeper, you exhale, roll the right shoulder back and look back. On your next exhale, you release the twist, bring your head back to center and relax. your heart, exhale, look to your left, or go deeper, and look behind you. On your next exhale, gently release. so good now you're gonna slowly bring your chest down bring your hands underneath the shoulders position of your legs as they are so your toes pointing back gently pressing into the top of your feet right inhale you're gonna press into your hands lift your heart hug the elbows in can stay here, look straight ahead, or lift your hands off the floor and breathe as you hold. Pressing into the top of your feet, the hands are off the floor, hug the elbows in, and get your back and lift your heart. One more breath, inhale, lift, exhale, relax your back, relax your head. Now come to crocodile, you stack your hands, your arms, you rest your head down, place your feet wider than the mat with your heels turning in and relax your ankles, relax your back. back to your breath and then slowly flip over lie on your back where is the sun sun come up please it's too windy for me it's too cold right okay now lying on your back and then slowly hug your knees into your chest you massage your back you massage your spine do what you need to do, rock from side to side, back and forth, circling the knees. Right, then slowly come back to center. Now ready for bridge. Slowly bring your feet down, flat on the mat. Have your feet about hip width apart. You need to walk your feet back, align your knees and your ankles. Have your feet flat, feet parallel, and your toes pointing straight ahead. Right, you bring your arms close to the side of your body with your palms facing in or facing down. Roll the shoulders back and down. You open your heart, broaden across the chest and align your head, neck and your spine. Tuck the chin in. Now when you're in bridge, just like the last two poses we did, the shoulders stand in the plow. Don't turn your head to the side. 
So just listen to my voice for my instructions. Keep the head center and the chin tucked. Engage your back. Inhale, pressing into your feet and peel the spine off the floor as you lift your hips higher. Opening the hips, so opening your heart. Keep the head center, breathe and hold here. While you're here, you feel that nice stretch in your thighs, the spine, the back of your neck. Make sure your feet are flat, you're not lifting the heels off the floor, heels down. I can see some of you are lifting your hips up, sorry, your heels up. No, the hips need to be lifted. You must, not must. Try and lift your hips as high as you can. Now, your arms as they are. If you want to go a little bit deeper, feeling that nice stretch in the upper back, roll the shoulders in and you can clasp your hands. And keep the hips lifted. Now you can stay here with both feet flat on the mat. and the ankle are aligned. Ready? Pressing into your right foot and left leg up. Flex your left foot, left leg straight or a little bend in the left knee and relax the ankle. Keep the hips lifted and hold. Two more breaths here. Those clasp in your hands. Relax the shoulders. Bring your arms out. Everyone, your next exhale, release your hips down. Relax the back. Bring the spine down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone down, relax your back, and once again, hug your knees into your chest, massage your back, have a little squeeze, and then rock from side to side, back and forth, or circling the knees. you come back to center wrap your arms around the shins or the back of your thighs inhale when you're ready lift your head up or head to your knees make yourself small and feel a sense of gratitude for the time all the space to turn up on your mat Make time for yourself, for your practice today, and then gently release. Head down, arms down, and feet flat on the mat. Right, let's come to Shavasana, knees bent or legs straight, you decide. If you're more comfortable with your knees bent, Allow the knees to fall into each other and have your feet as wide as the mat. Turn the toes up slightly. If you're comfortable with your legs straight, feet about mat width apart and allow 
allow the toes to roll out. Stretch your arms away from the body, palms facing up. Or one hand on your heart, the other hand on your belly. Align your head, neck and your spine. Once you feel comfortable, gently close your eyes. Now bring your awareness to your breath. Smooth the breath out. Making space between the inhale and exhale. attention to your body. Scan your body starting at the top of your head. Down to your hips. And all the way down to your toes. notice any point of discomfort, tension and tightness in the body. Breathe into those areas and allow them to soften and relax. space between the breath and finding space within the body. See if you can find more space inside of your mind. Spaces between the thoughts to stay in your mind. Gently bring your awareness back to your breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring yourself back to the present, to the here and now. Bring your feet together and float your arms overhead. Inhale and stretch your whole body. On an exhale, release and release. Those with your legs straight, slowly bend your knees. And everyone, when you're ready, roll onto your right side. Exhale down to your heart center. 
Inhale, take in the positive energy around us. Exhale, let go of any negativity and anything that no longer serves you. And let be. One more round. everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I hope it's much warmer where you are. Oh. <laughs> right, so we are done with our gentle hatha practice. Feel good hatha. So the poses that we've been focusing on today just uh, poses to just lift you up to feel to make you feel a little bit cheery if there is such a word all right uh, I uh, <laughs> as you can see you know when, when I when I set uh, my practice outside it was sunny it was deceiving and then once everything is ready the sun just decides to disappear and then the wind just pick up and it you know keep blowing so I'm not gonna take any more of your time I'm just gonna have a, a few words before I go so everyone you take care look after yourselves enjoy your weekend it's Saturday today in case you've forgotten all right uh, I'll see you tomorrow Tomorrow we'll be back in Yogi Yak. All right, for our morning practice. So UK time, ten o'clock, um, for Yin Yang flow. All right. So if you're joining me for live practice tomorrow, I'll see you then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, and shall see you soon. Bye for now. Until next time. And Bella signing off. Bye everyone. Bye bye.